family and friends. This is Rob, the Sapper Gardener, representing Essiance Family Garden again. And today we're going to start a recipe. Um, if you guys watched, we did a video a couple of uh, days back, maybe a week back by the time this video comes out, where we did a tasala, a traditional Filipino um, breakfast meal, but instead of using tocino, we used tocino flavored spam. So uh, for those of you who didn't see that, I'll leave a link to that here. But what we're going to do, since we did the tocino flavored ham, or tocino flavored spam, we may as well give you guys the real thing. So today we're going to start the curing process to make our own homemade tocino. So let me flip you guys around and I'll show you the ingredients. So for our tocino, and I will leave uh, the ingredient list below. We're using uh, pork loin. Uh, traditionally, you would use pork belly and you would trim the skin and fat, but we're just using a pork loin. You can also do pork shoulder. You just want to have some pork with some fat in it. We're using some soy sauce, some Coke, some banana ketchup, and you can also use just regular tomato ketchup, some pineapple juice, some garlic powder, some black pepper, some salt, and some brown sugar. So we're going to mix all this together and we're going to put our pork in it and we're going to let it sit for several days, at least several days a week to let it cure. And then we're going to bring you guys back. So let me get everything mixed and show how we're going to let ours sit. All right, as usual, I forgot one ingredient. So, um, tocino usually have a, has a reddish flavor to it. So what's added is a natto powder or ashuete, as we call it in the Philippines. And it just adds a little bit, it's seasoning slash color. So I'm gonna add some in, but first I'm gonna show you guys well, let me turn you around and see if you can see down in there. We've got everything mixed. I'm going to add the ashuete powder and then I'll show you how we'll let everything sit until we're ready to get it. So after a few days, a week, it'll be cured and it'll be ready to be cooked and eaten. So the last step, we like to put ours in individual bags. So that when we get ready to, to cook something up, we just grab a bag. So we're going to sit this in the refrigerator, let it sit for probably five to seven days, and then we'll come back and we'll take one out. It should be nice and cured, and then we'll cook a bag up mm -hmm. for, uh, am I pronouncing that right, sweetie, to solid? So Mrs. SG corrected my pronunciation tosalog is that close you come and say it so they know the correct pronunciation tosilog mm -hmm. so we'll make uh same breakfast we did mm -hmm. with the tocino flavored spam except for with real tocino when this cures mm -hmm. and we'll bring you guys back when we get ready to do that up in yep. five days to a week all right, family and friends, it's been a week since we started our tocino, and I'll give you a quick shot of it, and then we're going to do the next two steps to get it ready for breakfast. So the tocino's been marinating and curing in the mixture from last week. So we're going to take one pack out and cook it for breakfast. And the other packs we're going to put in our freezer and whenever we need more we'll just grab one and take it out so the next step is just going to be to boil it until the liquid thickens on the meat and then we'll pan sear it and sit down for breakfast So we're at the dinner table, the Sapper family, with our tocino, our pork tocino, mm -hmm. 
and Mrs. SG has already tasted it and said it is on point. So one thing that I know to do next time I make it to add a little bit more Ashuete sauce because typically it's a slightly more reddish color, but for first attempt, I think this is pretty good for me. Mrs. SG has made it many times. This is my <laughs> first time making it. Mmm. Wow, it is good. Mm -hmm. So, the meat is tender, it's full of flavor. And say it again, sweetie. Tosi log. Mm-hmm. Tosi log. Tosi log. Tosino log. Mm-hmm. Fried rice. So tosi log is a Filipino word describing the breakfast, but they also have different dishes. They have longanisa, which is long salog. They have um, what's the other one? Starts with the two tapsalog with the tapas. Is it? meat or sausage beef beef so they have different kind this is pork tocino uh there's different types of tocino also let me get so you can see the family <laughs> so there's different kind you can make a pork tocino chicken tocino beef tocino fish tocino for our friends like miss linda the louisiana gardener you can make the same cured meat with chicken or beef if you wanted to. Um, I guess if you wanted to, you could do lamb, uh, venison, but mm -hmm. we did it the semi most traditional way, which is with uh, pork. So uh, we're going to sit down, eat our breakfast, and then we're going to go out and have a uh, celebration luncheon for Mrs. SG. She had a big milestone. She uh, is now officially a U.S. citizen, so we're going to go out and celebrate today and have a good time. So, if you guys don't mind, if you can give her a big congratulations <laughs> down in the comment, I know she Thank would appreciate you. that. So, I like the meal, SK1. Did you like it? Yeah. Mrs. Really SG has already given us a thumbs <laughs> up, and SK2 has, we're going to call his a pancake salon because he's got pancakes and sausage over there. But we're just glad he's eating. So anything you want to add? I want to add evil purple minion. Okay. So on that note. <laughs> well, he just had a concert. So. Yeah, he had a concert. He did. And he did great in the concert singing. Go ahead. Thank you. So with that beautiful sound, we're going to close out. As always, God bless our great country, America. God bless you, wherever you may reside around the world. God bless your garden, your harvest, your kitchen, your meals, and especially God bless your family, that they have peace, prosperity, and health as we do. Take care. Sapper out. <laughs>